This is probably the biggest scam that I've encountered recently. Uh, as you know, um, people have been converting from regular tungsten steel bulbs, you know the old bulbs we had in the house, to LED. You remember the old ones, the spiral ones, they had mercury in them, and then now they came up with the LED. And this is the latest and the greatest, apparently. But they're not. They're absolutely junk. And they don't last nowhere near uh, as long as they should. This is Noma, which is a company that is uh, a subsidiary or owned by Canadian Tire. Uh, these bulbs are 60 watts. And you can see the information on them. And they're absolute garbage. I bought these about six months ago. And um, I think it says... 10 year limited warranty and that's the information on them these are the, uh, the daily ones 10,000 hours they blink, they flutter, they kick out, they kick in very uh, very terrible actually <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking uh, of course they're made in China so, probably no surprise there. Um, the flicker. I just took this one out of the uh, of the shed. It was working perfect. Went in, went uh, went out to the shed, turned on the light, um, and then the light went out, and it's gone. It's not working. I tried it nose. I tried it everywhere. A couple of sockets here in the house. No go. Um, I went right through the house with these, and uh, you know what? There is a cost savings, definitely. Uh, there is a definite cost savings by going to LED, but uh, there's no cost savings if I got to keep replacing them. Um, as for warranty, uh, I don't have the receipt for this, sadly. Um, I am told that uh, in order to have these bulbs replaced, these are all bad by the way, all four. I kept the box because I just wanted to keep the information for the warranty purposes. But I discovered the warranty is uh, ship the bulbs to Noma, the, whatever company is on there, uh, uh, at your cost. And uh, I guess they'll give you a uh, credit for more if you want to buy my Canadian tire. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're down. I have a chandelier up here. And uh, so that one has got one in. See how that was working so nice? The other one is kind of cool. These are the last two that I can find that are working. That's empty. That one's empty. And that one's empty. And I uh, had this one on pretty well all this afternoon and it flickered a couple of times so it's probably on its way out. Yeah, this one here, I don't need that much light. It's kind of bright. So what do you do when you live in a zoo? Um, as I say, there is a cost savings by using LED, but if they're going to be costing me like two, three, four dollars a bulb, or five dollars a bulb, sometimes six, I've heard people say they can get these for 99 cents a bulb, which would be awesome uh, if they would last. It says 85% less energy. Where does that say that? Yeah. But if you're going to be replacing them every six months, I'm in the old bulb, the old tungsten steel one, we'll say. Uh, they would last a couple of years, at least a year. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, pretty frustrated. I got, to go be, I got to be buying a bunch of these now when they go on sale, and I guess if I buy the ones that are on sale, they're probably junk. But I've got good ones, the brand new ones. These here in a box, I think, were $9.99. I think $10 in tax, I believe, for this. Now, I can't say for sure. But I mean, a bulb is a bulb is a bulb is a bulb. LED, made by Noma. So I mean, you know, why would they make an inferior bulb and then sell one for twice the cost? That's only going to last two more months. Not sure. Don't know the game plan. Don't know the business strategy. But uh, here it is. Um, for those of you who are running LEDs, um, pipe up. I'd like to know what bulbs are lasting, what aren't, what bulbs aren't lasting for you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.